families. This is Miss Fleming from Tadmore. I am wanting to talk with you guys today about fluency with your kids. What is fluency? Fluency is being able to identify words or numbers with just the recognition of it or looking at it. Um, in math, we do fluency every day. Might be addition within 10, addition within 20, subtraction within 10, subtraction within 20. So some things that you can do at home with your students to help them with their fluency in math is to provide them with games or any form of practice that they can use. Some of these might include flashcards, which you can get at the dollar store real easy. We have addition and subtraction. If you can't go to the dollar store, you don't have a way, you can always create your own flashcards using paper. And if you don't have that, you can just ask your student what three plus five is, or just spit out a random fluency question or addition or subtraction question. Those help our students to pick up on and see those patterns of addition. Another thing you can use is Dice. If you have dice at the house, if you have any board game that has dice, you have dice. They can roll the dice, either add the numbers together or subtract the numbers together. Again, it's helping with that fluency. It's helping build up that stamina and understanding that maybe four plus three is seven. And they're not having to count on their fingers every single time. When working on comparing numbers, you can play a game called War with playing cards. And what you do is you have two people who split the deck and they each lay one card down. The person who has the biggest number keeps it. You've probably played it before. Another thing that you can do and work on with your students at home is 10 more and 10 less. That is a big thing that we have just recently worked on is identifying 10 more than a number and 10 less than a number. This also helps us when we look at our 120 charts to recognize the pattern that not only do numbers count up by one, but they also count by 10. So they go up by one when we go from left to right, but up by 10 when we go up to down. So these are just a few things that you can work on with your student at, at home in math is fluency, addition, subtraction, at least within 20. Again, you don't have to have materials at the house. It can be as simple as, hey, tell me what 5 plus 2 is or 13 plus 4. And they should be able to spit out an answer without having to think or count on their fingers. That is what fluency is.